Well, hello, friends and clients. It's Dr. Gary Senderoff with Cruise Planners, your leading hotel advisor. So you're in Oslo and you want to leave early in the morning, but you don't want to really wake up at 2 or 3 a.m. When you have an early morning flight, the Radisson Blue is really a great option. It is directly across the airport. It's the only one that's there that you don't have to take a shuttle. When you walk out, you walk over to the right, cross the street, literally you're in the lobby in like three or four minutes. There's this little tunnel kind of thing that you go through in order to reach the lobby. And then, of course, you have your front desk. Sometimes there's a little bit of a line, but hopefully that won't happen with you. And by the way, when you're ready to book your Radisson Blue Hotel, let me know because I often get private rates that you cannot get with anybody else. So on with the tour. So this is the lobby. They have a really great breakfast, by the way. So it is worth it to pay the extra and have the breakfast as long as you are within the breakfast time limits. And their restaurant, it is called 26 North, I believe, is excellent. We had a burger and I was there with friends. And they ordered other things and everything was consistently good. So let's take a look at the room. I got an airport runway view. I believe it's either a deluxe or a superior, but it's the one that has the airport runway view. And I've stayed here before. This room was certainly a lot bigger than the standard rooms and a little bit nicer. So it was on a corner. The only problem is if you really truly want an airport runway view, this particular corner room doesn't really have a great view of the runway. I'll show you in just a second. So I look outside and here's the view of the runway. I don't really see any airplanes taking off and landing much. So I thought surely the other window must have a better view. Let's go have a look. And as you'll see in just a minute, the view is no airport view basically, except for the airport itself, but no runway view, that's for sure. But out of all the hotels that are available within the Oslo airport, if you came in late at night or if you have an early morning flight the next day, this is a really good option in comparison to the others because there's no shuttle to take. You just walk right across to it. And again, the only one in Oslo that has this. The room itself is fine. It had a coffee maker, a mini fridge, uh, some snacks if you want, obviously at an additional charge. And, you know, it's certainly not a luxurious hotel by any stretch of the imagination, but it is decent and does the trick uh, for the night. And if you're forced to stay here for whatever reason, the train is really adjacent to the hotel, super easy to get into the center of Oslo, and then you could come back, which is also really nice. Bathroom was pretty ordinary, nothing out of this world. But again, it does the trick for one night. No problem for an airport hotel you know, I'll give it three and a half stars out of five. But let me know in the comments, have you stayed here? Will you stay here? You know, I'm one of the leading polar advisors for expeditions, and this is a really good accessible hotel when you have a charter in and out of Oslo. That's the only reason I stayed here. But it's a decent place. I didn't love the room as much as I did the other rooms, believe it or not, but it does the trick. Don't forget to watch some of my other travel videos. You'll see a lot of expeditions into the real cold, icy parts of the world. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. For the best value on your next vacation, email me at gary.senderoff at cruiseplanners.com.